class session two of the week. Uh, this is our first actual workout post assessment. So uh, some things you want to keep in mind. I did send you out the guiding principles and there are six of them. However, um, each day for the first few weeks, I'm going to just focus on a couple at a time. Okay. And then ultimately you should be able to um, understand uh, those six guiding principles within the body of our work every session. So today we're just going to talk, I'm going to talk about the um, breath is the primary and we'll talk about uh, the breathing method throughout the workout as well as uh, just making sure that we're getting as full of breath as possible. So when we assessed, uh, we had that breath test and so what we did was we tried to pull as much air into our lungs as possible without holding our breath and then slowly transitioning into a really big, long exhale, slowing it down as much as possible for one breath. So we want to try and imitate that or do that as much as possible. There's gonna be some exercises where you won't be able to, your, your lungs, your rib cage might be constricted like when you're in your tummy, but for the most part, we do wanna get a complete full breath. Whether or not you breathe through your nose or through your mouth or both, is up to you, um, but just keep in mind that when you breathe through your nose, inhaling through your nose, you're getting um, those the bottom of those lungs really activated, and so you're getting more oxygen pushed out to your muscles. So um, keep that in mind, and it also helps you slow down uh, your breathing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with a warm-up exercise, and we'll talk about our breathing when we're warming up. So this is what's called chest expansion. And so we're gonna go ahead and kneeling, hold strong posture from our knees all the way up to our shoulders. And that simply just means that we're going to pull our abdominals in and tighten our glutes. And we're going to bring our arms out to our sides here away from our body. And from here, we're going to expand our chest. And that just simply means we're squeezing our shoulder blades together behind us and really pressing those arms back. And this will be our exhale moment, okay? When we inhale, we're going to round our arms forward like we're hugging a big tree here in front of us. And we're going to round our back. And our hips are going to slightly tilt forward, so our glutes are engaged here. But we're drawing the middle of our trunk, the center of our trunk, where our belly button is. We're drawing it in and back. And so we're creating this rounded spine. So our shoulders will be hunched forward and our pelvis will be tilted forward. But our abdominals and our thoracic area and our rib cage will be rounded or away from that imaginary tree, okay? So we're rounding on the inhale and flattening on the exhale. Opening that chest, inhale and exhale. Inhale. So notice the position change of the spine each time you round or what we call scooping in this class. So we're scooping our belly, scooping, pulling it back, hollowing out here in the front side of our trunk. One more, inhale, and exhale. Good. All right, so we're gonna go down on our hands here in this table position. And from here, we're gonna practice two exercises. One is called cat and one is called cow. And so again, we are practicing that scooping or that rounding of the back and then that flattening or the arching of the back. So again, just warming up the spine, lower the lumbar area, the lower back area. So we're gonna go ahead and begin with our cat. And our cat is this, we pull our pelvis forward, we start to round our back and scoop. So we're hollowing out, we're pulling our abdominals in Okay, and this is gonna be our inhale moment. So our breath is inhale here, and then we come down, we drop our belly, we tilt the hips back, and then we pull the head back up here for cow. That's our exhale moment. And then we come back in 
into cat, tilting the hips, pelvis forward, hollowing out, scooping, exhaling here for cow at the top, and one more cat, and one more cow. Good. All right, so you're going to bring your hands forward, so leading your shoulders, and I'm going to go ahead and and talk you through this. You're going to bring your hips down so that your back is flat. This is called a dynamic move. And so we are going to pull our hips back and down, keeping our arms static. And then pull our hips forward, transferring the weight forward with our hips down. Okay? Arms stay straight, locked out. And then we're going to come back and forward. Here we go. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And back to start. Good. Bring the hands back to table. And from here, go ahead and come to a seated position, legs around, and we're going to come down into our 100 exercise. So when we assessed, we practiced the 100 with the legs extended. We're actually going to start with our legs bent, okay? So we're going to go ahead and roll down to our backs, and what I want you to do is each time that you go down to your back from a seated position. I want you to practice that scooping or that rounding. So hands on my knees, and I'm simply going to round my back, scooping. That means I'm pulling my abdominals in towards my spine. And I'm going to lower my back to the mat and bring my knees up to a 90 degree, OK? From here, head is elevated. Remember this, chin to chest. So keeping that neck rounded, arms extended and elevated, and we go ahead and we begin pumping the arms, and we're pumping five pumps for an inhale, five pumps for an exhale. Five for inhale, five for exhale. And as we are pumping our arms and breathing, we are scooping. So we are engaging those abdominal muscles. We're pulling them down towards the mat, holding them there, pumping and synchronize with the breathing here. Try to keep count if you can. We want 10 total breaths, which is 100 total pumps of the arms. When you're done, go ahead and bring your head down and your feet down. Okay, our final warm-up exercise, uh, single leg circles. So we're going to warm up the hip region, uh, the inner and the outer thigh as well. Uh, go ahead and bring one leg up, keep the other foot on the ground, arms are on the ground, on, the, on your mat. We're going to go ahead and bend this knee slightly. And then I'm going to open my hip up so that my knee and my, my toes are going at an angle. And from here, I'm going to keep this position of my leg open and slightly bent. And I'm just going to circle. So just slow, small circles to start, just warming up that hip. And then we're going to reverse the circle. So opposite direction, still maintaining an open hip and a slight bend in the knee. The entire leg is rotating. Good. All right. Foot down. 
other leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, and circle. Opposite direction. And foot down. Good. So we're done with our warm up, and so we're going to go ahead and begin the routine. We're only going through one time today because I'm going to take each exercise very slowly, um, explain introduce the exercise, explain the exercise, demonstrate, um, and then we will take our time with the repetitions. So our first exercise, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with single leg stretch, but we're only gonna practice one at a time. So remember that Fab Five workout that we did in the assessment? That first exercise was single leg stretch, right? We're gonna actually modify that. So it's gonna look like this. I'm going to bring one leg in, and I'm going to keep the other leg on the floor, slight bend of the knee. My head and shoulders are up off of the mat, and then I'm scooping here because my head is up, so I'm tightening those muscles here. And I'm going to bring my knee in line with my shoulder here, and then I'm just going to let it go. And then pull it in. And let it go. So I'm assisting on the pull with my hands for the stretch. Scooping and breathing, just continuous breathing. One more. Good. All right. Head down, foot down, switch legs. So remember that sometimes you'll feel this neck fatigue, and that's just because you're lifting your head and holding it. Uh, anytime you want to put your head down, that's fine for a moment, and then try to raise that head up off the floor so they can train those muscles in the neck, okay? So go ahead and lift the head, chin to chest, scooping, pull the knee in, and let it go. Breathing continuously. One more. Good. All right, head down, foot down. All right, next exercise, uh, it's gonna be a modified double leg. So in the Fab Five, the second exercise was double leg. Uh, we're going to change it up just a bit. So go ahead and bring the knees in, hands over the top. We're gonna go ahead and lift our head and our shoulders up chin to chest, scooping, and from here I'm going to pull both knees in, and then I'm just gonna let both feet go towards the mat. Pulling in, dropping the feet. And in, slowing it down, exhale as you drop, and lift, inhale as you pull in. One more. Good. Head down. Feet down. Arms down. Nice. Okay, moving on to bridge. So bridge uh, takes many variations in this class. So you're going to see many variations of bridge, shoulder bridge, with arm work, with leg work, all sorts of bridges. So we're just going to start with our traditional bridge and that's with our arms on the floor, on the mat, with our feet grounded, okay? So we are going to lift our hips up towards the ceiling, and when we get our hips up as high as they can go in this high point here, we're gonna make sure that we tighten our glutes, pull our abdominals in, and hold them there, and that will help stabilize our back. 
You're going to feel this in your lower back. You're going to feel this in your abdominals. And you're also going to feel this in your legs, your quads and your hamstrings. Okay? We're going to go ahead and let the contraction go and lower the hips. Now, again, we're going to lift and tighten and hold and breathe. Lower, let it go. Let's exhale and lift. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. One more, exhale, lift. Next, we have a variation of a crisscross. So our crisscross, normally, we would have both legs off of the mat, and we're gonna go ahead and modify this with just one leg doing the work, okay? So, like with the single leg, modified single leg in the beginning, we had one leg working at the same, at one time, okay? Go ahead and bring your hands behind your neck, so you're assisting yourself here. Head and shoulders are up off the mat. One foot stays down. What's gonna happen here is I'm gonna pull my left knee in, just like I do a single leg, right? And at this point, I'm going to rotate across towards that left knee with my right elbow. Keeping my shoulders off the mat, I come back to center as I extend my leg out, okay? So we pull in, come across, and out. In, and out. Let's exhale on the in, here, exhale, and out, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. One more, exhale. Bring your head down, you're gonna switch legs. So the other leg is gonna be pulled in, hands behind your neck, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go lift up, pull in and rotate, and out. Exhale here, inhale here, exhale here. Rest your head, rest your arms, and foot down. Good. All right, so next is modified double straight. So double straight was the fifth exercise of the Fab Five. Uh, we're gonna modify this with a bend of the knees. So go ahead and bring the legs all the way up to start. From here, lift the head and the shoulders up, hands behind the neck, we're going to go ahead and start with a bend of the knees, extend the legs out, pull the knees in, extend the legs up. So bend, extend, in, and up. Bend, extend, in, and up. Bend, extend. Consistent breathing, continuous breathing. down, head down. Go ahead and extend your legs a little bit out away from you, but keep a slight bend in your knees. So when we assessed, we tried a roll-up out, right? And the roll-ups are challenging, they're tough. So we're gonna modify our roll-up and we're gonna practice it in a two-part roll-up. So we're gonna practice the lift or the incline and the hold 
and then we'll break it into a decline or a roll down the second part okay so two parts to this when we lift our head and our shoulders up off the mat to hold we want to make sure we immediately scoop engage those abdominal muscles but we're also going to tighten our glutes and try and engage those really deep inner pelvic floor muscles and so you're almost squeezing and tightening the glutes at the same time okay so you're trying to tighten those muscles that are deep inside your pelvis uh, deep near, near your pelvic floor okay so we're going to go ahead and extend our arms out as we lift our head and shoulders scoop tighten and side squeeze and come down okay when we lift we're going to exhale inhale on the way down and exhale lift down exhale lift and inhale down good all right we're gonna roll to our side push yourselves up seated position all right so from here we're gonna practice rolling down so my legs are bent, hands are on top of my knees. From here I'm sitting up tall, right? My back is flat. I'm gonna go ahead and collapse my spine. So just kind of let my lower back, my lumbar area go. Just let it go. Just kind of sink into that there, that position. And now I'm going to lean back and hold as I let go of my knees. So I'm gonna let go and lean back and I'm going to hold in this position this is that scooped position I was talking about and now we're going to come back up top flat back at the top let's exhale as we roll back hold inhale up exhale back so it's you're leading with the lower middle back, not your shoulders. And up. And back. And up. Let's go one more. Roll back or roll down. Sitting up tall, go ahead and split your legs or part your legs. A spine stretch. So we did this as well in the assessment. We went as far as we could and we measured how far our hands went, right? When they made contact with the floor. Arms are all the way up. We're going to pitch forward with a flat back. We're gonna round our back and pull our arms in towards our center and reach up with a flat back. Exhale over the top. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more, inhale up. And exhale over Good. so that's a nice dynamic stretch for the lower back the glutes and the hamstrings okay um, all right so we are going to bring our legs together and we're gonna bend our knees this one we're leaning back <clears throat> with a single leg knee pull Okay, so we're going to practice um, this seated balance position, I like to call it. And so basically, we are sitting back 
on our tailbone there, and that's where we will balance. We'll either balance here with our feet on the ground or we're gonna balance with our feet off the ground, but that's the position, sitting back into that tailbone, okay? All right, so we are going to keep one foot on the ground, hands are down on the mat, and my back is scooped. See that, I'm rounded? I'm gonna bring one knee in and extend the leg out. Pull the knee in, leg out. And in, and out, and in, and out. We'll go one more, in, and out. Good, foot down, lean forward, release the tension in that back. We'll do the other leg. So again, seated balance, find that position. Hands down, one knee, other knee in, leg out. Keep your spine rounded, pull those abdominals down. Consistent, continuous breathing. knee hug so we just wrap our arms around our knees and we lean forward to release tension all right so new exercise here it's called mermaid so we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and bring our legs off to the side keeping the knees bent so a folded position here with the legs Okay, so from here we're going to see if, if we can find a good, comfortable seated position with our legs to our side. <clears throat> Trying to sit up tall from this position, so you're going to have to do the best you can because both legs, so your hip is a little bit inhibited right now, right? Um, so this is a great stretch for, or uh, great exercise for stretching out the hip um, as well as strengthening uh, the oblique muscles and our sides for flexibility. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with legs off to the side. One hand is wrapped around the shin of this bent leg. The other hand is here on the mat. This is how we start. We sit up tall, so we are pushing our abdomen forward, okay, so that you can feel the flat back there. And I'm going to go ahead and hold onto my shin and let go of the mat and I'm sweeping my arm up over the top of my head and I'm assisting the pull by pulling on my shin and getting a deep stretch here. And then I'm gonna bring my hand down to the mat and I'm gonna let go of my shin and arm sweep over the top into a side bend here to the other side. Back over, connect to your shin and begin again. So maintaining posture through the move, continuous breathing, slow it down. There's no need to rush this exercise. Feel the muscles working, feel the stretch through the hip. We're going to switch the legs to the other side. Same exercise. Find your position that's comfortable for you to sit up as tall as you can, hand on shin. And we're sweeping over and pulling. Push the abdomen forward, strong posture. Good. All right, 
this knee hug before we turn over to our tummies. We want to just make sure we're centered before we do that. So wrap your arms around the front of your legs and just kind of lean into the X, lean into the stretch here. Okay. All right, let's turn over to our tummies. So we're gonna do a little back work here. Two exercises focusing on upper body and then lower body. Okay. So our arms are going to lead our shoulders here, but our arms are going to stay slightly bent. So we are going to start with single leg lifts and our head is going to be elevated, but our arms are going to stay down. Okay. So when I lift one leg at a time, so my head is up, it's elevated, which means my upper chest is elevated, right? But my arms are down. So my weight is on my arms. From here, I wanna make sure that each time I lift my leg, I'm pressing my pelvis down into the mat and my glute becomes engaged. Keeping that leg straight, we're just elevating and holding and then lowering. And then we lift the other leg and lower. Continuous breathing. Now you can't get a full big breath here because you know your lungs, your rib cage is pressing against the mat. Just do the best you can. That's why I like to elevate my head up off the mat because then I can get more breath, more air. Hope you're just balancing there on the rib cage, the lower rib cage. Feel those muscles, you can feel it in your lower back, you can feel it in the glutes, and you can feel it in the hamstrings, right? One more lift. Good, all right, rest your chin down on the mat. All right, so now from here, we're gonna focus on the upper body. So we're lifting the head and the arms up onto a an elevated position, so it's I call it a mini cobra. And so I'm gonna keep my legs on the mat, keeping my hips on the mat. I'm basically going to press and lift and come up onto my forearms and then come down. I'm exhaling as I lift and press and inhaling as I come down. Exhale up and down. You should be pressing that pelvis down into the mat as you lift. You feel the glutes tightening. One more mini cobra up and down. All right, so we're gonna go into low back stretch. So go ahead and bring your hands outside your chest. And you're gonna push yourself up and come back down with your hips reared down. And we're just releasing tension in that low back. This is called low back stretch. do some exercises for strengthening in our arms and our trunk. So this is called a low plank knee drop. Anytime I say low plank, we are on our elbows supporting ourselves. If I say high plank, we're in a high hand position, like a push-up position, okay? So we're going to do this low plank position. So go ahead and walk your hands out. Bring your forearms down to the mat. Palms facing the mat. Now, from here, I'm going to lift my knees up off the floor and I'm gonna pull my abdominals up and in and hold them there, lock them in so my back is flat. And I'm just gonna drop my knee and lift my knee. 
drop the other knee and lift. Keeping my abs engaged, breathing. I'm just alternating knee drops. One more. Good, and knees down, and go into low back stretch again. But this time, I want you to bring your arms to your sides. Good. Okay. So, we have another low plank exercise. This time, we're going to knee drop both knees, and we're going to add a shift back. And that just simply means that we're transferring our weight back onto our heels from our toes, okay? So walk your hands up, low plank, palms down, knees up. So I'm gonna drop my knees, both of them, lift my knees, and I'm gonna shift back onto my heels. So I'm transferring my weight back, my hips come slightly up. I come back to start, hips down, Knees down, knees up, shift back. Back to start, knees down, knees up, shift back. Start, knees, lift, back. One more, start, knees, lift, and back. Good, come back to start, knees down, Walk your hands back up. <clears throat> Let's go to a seated position. <clears throat> From here, go ahead and put your hands on your knees. And we're going to do what's called a seated accordion. And that seated accordion is very similar to that roll back hold. So we're just going to collapse our spine and slightly lean back and come forward into flat back and collapse and lean back and forward, flat back. Breathe. Try and relax through this move so we're not tight. We're just limbering up. So we are done. That is it for this first workout of the week. Um, so there's one other thing you need to make sure that you remember to do. So you need to respond to the weekly connection. And so that's an actual um, response with an answer to the questions that I'm going to um, pose to you. So um, you'll need to write your answer out in a text. You'll reply, basically submit back your answer. Um, in the canvas so it'll be like a text box or a file or whatever it's called um, and you'll just reply to you know give your answer back to me and that's how you accumulate your weekly connection points okay so look for that I'll remind you about that so again this week it was about the assessment you need to make sure that that form got filled out and returned to me before Sunday at 11:55. <clears throat> all your answers for the number ones your results and then you needed to have obviously watched this video and practiced it do not respond to it you just are actively uh, following along and then the weekly connection and that that this workout needs to be done by 11 55 on Sunday and then the weekly connection is also due by uh, 11 55 on Sunday okay so three things this week and that is it, and I will see you next week. So looking forward to next Monday. Have a good weekend.